if you've read Don Quixote, or, or even if you have a, 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 a passing familiarity with, with the, the book, you know that, that uh, <coughs> Cervantes is writing a parody of uh, chivalric uh, romance or, or books of chivalry uh, and whatnot. Uh, but one of the other genres that was very popular in the 16th century that, that, uh, that Cervantes also parodies uh, in his novel is uh, what we could call now um, uh, pastoral romance. But besides that, and probably more importantly, the, the entire novel, the action of the entire novel takes place in the countryside. Um, and here living in, in urban or suburban uh, Southern California, <coughs> we're in many ways kind of isolated from that, that experience. Um, but we're also fortunate because we are in Southern California, which has, has the same basic climate as, as uh, Spain, uh, Southern Spain at least. And, and so we can go down into Tecolo Canyon and see a scene that might look very much like what uh, Don Quixote and Sancho were, were, were seeing, same sorts of trees. So I can, I can point out to the students, there's a willow, uh, and that's, that's where you would see uh, you know, a, a weeping shepherd singing about unrequited love uh, in a pastoral romance. All right. <laughs> the other great thing about, about Tecolote Canyon is we've got this uh, path running along its entire length. It's about I'd say four or five miles long, starting right here by the USD campus. And uh, that path, which is nicely maintained by the city, it's a dirt path. Uh, and I think it's uh, very reminiscent of the, the sorts of um, country roads that Don Quixote and Sancho would have been, would have been traversing in their, in their journeys. And he seems to finally decide that what he wants to do is get out into the world and, and experience it. And of course, he does that through the lens of his readings. And, so he puts on the, the rusty armor of his forebears and hops on his skinny nag and goes out uh, into the fields. But I think that's the, the, uh, the great challenge that the novel presents, and it's something that it asks us to do also as readers. So that's, that really, I guess, in a nutshell, is what uh, I'm, I'm trying to bring the students' attention by taking them out of the classroom, outside, into the, into the world, into the countryside, or at least uh, some uh, image of the countryside down in uh, this wonderful space in, in Tecolote Canyon. And if they come away with, with some of these notions as a result of the experience, I think it's, uh, I think the effort's uh, worthwhile.